Oh, g'day. Just wanted to talk about uh, gold fingers and uh, stacking them for uh, gold recovery. Um, gold fingers pretty much come off uh, mostly, um, you'll get your gold fingers off slot cards and uh, and RAM. The, basically, these, these two um, items are... Um, the, usually have the best quality fingers, the uh, the thicker gold plating and and so on. So, yeah, most, mostly uh, most of the gold fingers that you'll find will be on slot cards like this. Um, I just uh, you know s s break them off, snip them off, um, and uh, throw them in the stack. Uh, the rest of this slot card, I'll just uh, I'll clean up. Obviously, there's not much on this slot card, uh, apart from maybe the IC chip here and a little one there. Uh, there's some there's some gold fingers, uh, sorry, gold pins going along, but uh, not 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 a great deal on this one. Um, also, there'll be a little bit of gold pins in in this plug here. But uh, yeah, so uh, slot cards vary a lot in what they can have. As you can see, once the gold fingers are off, it doesn't look like much of a board. Uh, same deal here, um, only a very small board. Um, and uh, so once you've taken off your gold fingers, uh, it doesn't leave you with, with much value on some of these. Other ones, a lot more. But uh, either way, uh, I like to um, you know, break off these gold fingers and stack them um, for one day uh, refining for for the gold and just uh, as as the slot cards come out of the PCs I'll just trim them up take off the gold fingers I'll throw this part into a, a barrel where one day I'll um, I'll process the whole board I'll uh, remove all the components and process the IC chips separately take off any MLCCs or anything else that's on the slot card and even at the end of that probably even process the the boards for um, any any traces of gold left on the board uh, and uh, yeah as I said they vary a lot uh, older slot cards also um, might have a lot more IC chips that will have um, you know more gold inside and you would process these IC chips with um, regular flat pack IC chips uh, you know your flat packs so these you would process the same um, and with the gold fingers on these ones usually the older kind of boards the gold fingers will be quite quite uh, heavy so if you can you can hear that it you know really very thick very th thick fingers on this one and uh yeah a lot of the older boards will have a uh, a nice a much higher grade of gold plating and uh and and some boards some of the newer boards will have real light uh a real light um gold plating i can't see one now but uh, i'll show you as soon as i see it but um uh, yeah so so the, the plating does vary, okay, like here, okay, the same sort of deal, you've got, you know, very nice size gold plating, but this plating is very light, it's a lot lighter than, than um, say, this one, um, if you can see the, the different colours, you know, the, the, the more intensity of gold here compared to that, so, um, but, you know, you don't get that many of these that they sort of balance out but uh yeah um but yeah so overall slot cards uh stacking gold fingers uh i think it's uh you know i mean if you're getting your your um your pc stuff for free um and then uh why not stack these gold fingers because uh, you get quite you know quite a decent amount of gold for for what they are you know like I said, if you get it free, uh, this here, this is one kilo here, by the way, uh, one kilo of gold fingers, mostly from slot cards, and uh, also don't forget the RAM, RAM sticks, same deal. Uh, here's a little RAM, a RAM finger. 
so I just I just trim them off pretty pretty basically really I don't really you know try and follow any you know try and do it really neatly or anything because I'm I don't sell the RAM or I don't sell my fingers I'm going to process the fingers myself but on RAM it's a it's a higher quality gold plating um, and also on slot cards but as I said some slot cards may have a lighter plating I'll throw them in and uh, do the same with the other side I just sort of break them off just and uh, just just go along a line and uh, try not to get too much of the green but uh, the green really matters when when you're selling uh, if you're selling gold fingers then your buyer will want as little green on 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 them they want them like that you know uh, even snip off this little bit of green at the end so they want them reasonably you know clean as as clean as possible really um, no green showing but if you're going to process these yourself you know you see here um, you know if you've got some green showing or a whole lot more green showing that's fine because you're going to process them yourself anyway so who cares so at the end uh, you've got this um, ram chip ram stick uh, no gold fingers so got a few IC chips these little these later model IC chips on this ram um, they don't really have much particularly in this one but you've got little MLCC's and uh, things on on your RAM obviously this kind of RAM it's got a, a lot bigger IC chips so you can you know I'll process these later on when I take off these IC chips there's a lot of you know you can see a lot of the gold dots and all that still on that board so once that these IC chips are off the gold fingers have been taken off I'll still process this board like a gold plated board because and to get all that get all the gold from inside there but yeah but uh, gold fingers just simply you know just take them off like that keep going you know I, I found that uh, as they as I get them out of PCs I do them straight away that way um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't build up but I don't do many RAM sticks I mostly do slot cards all the slot cards are, uh, are good so and uh, if you're wondering well uh, if you're going to refine them yourself how much you uh, actually can get because uh, <coughs> excuse me one, one kilo of ram um, one kilo of uh, uh, gold fingers from slot cards and ram uh, will will net you uh, yeah here we go uh, one one kilogram of uh, gold fingers from slot cards and RAM will should get you six grams of gold for every one kilogram so here's one kilogram and and one kilogram of gold fingers good quality gold fingers should get you six grams of gold or in this case two one ten ounce coins two one ten ounce coins so one kilogram gold finger six gram gold that's the difference <laughs> so you got a lot you know a lot to, to get through to get the six grams but that's you know six grams of gold is uh, Australian it's worth three hundred dollars for six grams so one kilo of of gold fingers once you refine it you should get three hundred dollars worth of gold if you sell these gold fingers to a buyer in Australia um, the most you'll let, you'll probably get is uh, one hundred dollars for one kilo okay so there's one hundred dollars if you process it yourself or get someone to process it for you you will get out six grams of gold three hundred dollars worth of gold instead of selling it for three for one hundred dollars so that's 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 your option uh either way a lot of people don't don't want to refine and that's okay no problem just just stack it and, and sell it for a hundred dollars a kilo one day or or um well that's based at the price of gold at the moment but you know uh who knows who knows <laughs> Uh, the, what happens to the price of gold and uh, they could be even more valuable one day other things other forms of good quality um, fingers 
are things like this uh, from servers. They're uh, power supply units that they they're hot swap power supply units. They slot in and slot out, and uh, as you see, you you got uh, gold fingers on the ends of these two. And uh, a lot of cases, there's uh, solid gold fingers. And it, again, because these these power supply units go into a server, it's very important for um, you know the ultimate connections. So this gold plating is very nice and thick gold plating and uh, I just simply break them off like that and there you go just uh, gold now there's a panda gold panda and a gold finger and you can see the gold finger on this in this case is pretty is pretty good quality gold it's pretty high quality gold plating uh, in other cases you can get uh, gold plating that's it's not actually gold plating it, it can be just gold flashing and uh, in that case it still looks gold but when you go to recover you won't get as you know the weight really isn't there it's just flashing but in this case it's gold plating and and quite nice so yeah that that's off these these um, old uh, well, yeah broken down uh, power supply units from servers always trim off other ones won't have fingers they'll they'll have pins instead and the pins will be really high quality too so either way they're good value another form of um well another kind of slot card are these um back plane boards now again uh very nice gold fingers and usually on back plane boards because they've got a slot into a motherboard and they do a lot of things because a whole lot of slot cards will fit in, slot into these so it's very important for this connection to be perfect so it's a quite a heavy plating and then obviously once i've done that you've got left just a blank board with plugs you remove all these plugs obviously and there's going to be gold gold plated pins and in in usually in in all of these uh, just quickly but that that's for another day that's uh that's the subject of pins right now i'm just talking about gold fingers okay so yeah um other other forms of slot card is uh, uh server slot cards the full size server slot card is a 13 inch long by four inch that's your standard full size server slot card uh again you can see the the gold plating here and we can put this up against say a, a, a regular slot card and you can see you might be able to see the difference in gold plating there um, just you know because it's a server it's very important for you know these these server slot cards can you know brand new they can sell anywhere you know usually they're uh, over a thousand dollars can sell anywhere up to ten thousand uh, dollars to buy a brand new one and so therefore if you've got ten thousand dollar worth of slot card you're going to certainly want this little part that connects to the actual server you want this this part to be 110 percent and so therefore the gold plating on that very it's a very uh very high quality gold plating okay so server boards are bloody awesome uh, another very you know, another variation of a server board obviously you can see a whole lot of uh, IC chips um, that are going to be processed and and tantalum capacitors and flat packs and and whatnot and you got uh, crystal resonators <laughs> not oscillators these ones apparently are crystal resonators and that's fine we know what they are but uh, so there's your there's your little uh, fingers again just like this one well this one's probably even more thicker nicer but you can see they're both very good quality being servable another 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 server board virtually blank on this side not a lot compared to the others still got some good fingers uh later on i'll sh you know once i've taken off these fingers i'll um i'll throw this board in with all the other boards and uh i'll clean them all up so basically you know these are pretty easy sometimes they've got a perforation perforation running along the thing to make it even easier to to run a straight edge and that's it so there you go nice gold finger keep it going keep adding
and that's it. So now this will go into my special barrel where I will, uh, one day I will uh, clean all these. The first things I'll take off will be the tantalum capacitors and then uh, then I'll, uh, I'll actually remove everything off this board, all the, the pins in here, the whole thing and uh, process this separately. I'll do another video on these when the time comes. Another server slot card, as you can see, <laughs> Uh, this is a double slot card. They, they just slide into the server like that. Um, in this case, only one card has has fingers, but you know, again, very nice fingers. You open up the slot card. Okay, so obviously there's a, a lot more to this slot card to uh, do once we're finished with the, the fingers. Uh, the fingers are just a very small portion of the value of, say, a, of a slot card usually, especially server slot cards. Uh, might only be 1% of the value of this whole board because uh, if you can see, you know, they're, they're giant MLCCs, uh, tantalum capacitors, um, really nice chunky IC flat packs, this side, more flat packs, crystal oscillators, square four four pinned oscillators are crystal oscillators, or whatever. Yeah, so as you can see, really nice uh, things. Uh, other boards, same deal, like a server board, specialized logic board, if you like. Um, same deal. You know, there's lots to do this here. But the gold plating is uh, beautiful gold plating. Obviously, you want to check to see that these boards aren't worth anything on the secondary market. Some of these boards can be worth a lot of money. Um, I showed you these boards. Uh, I've got some uh, slot cards that uh, actually retail for like $9,000. Second hand, they still sell for uh, a few hundred dollars. So in some cases, it's not always, you know, straight into the cutting off the gold fingers. First, check to see what kind of board you got um you're obviously they have to work so you've got to have a means of uh testing them but they can be worth a lot more than um just breaking off the gold fingers yeah okay um yeah so that's about it uh obviously you've got some boards that don't have solid gold fingers you can see the gaps in the in the you know in the gold fingers so you know in in this case, you wouldn't. I, if I take these off, I'm not going to throw it in to this pile because this is um, a high grade gold fingers. Uh, I'll throw this in a in a secondary pile and I'll process these uh, once I've done processed all this sort of kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, well, this is just a kilo to give you a rough idea on what a kilo is looks like. You know, there is a lot. If if uh, you were going to uh, if you wanted the fingers, if you want one kilo of fingers of RAM, it's going to take a lot of RAM to get one kilo of fingers, uh, quite a lot. It, it, but, you know, it's not really light. It's quite heavy, so it does add up pretty, pretty quick. But, yeah, one kilo is, is quite, a, you know, quite, a, quite a decent size. Uh, you know, much more than two handfuls. And, uh, and I've got big hands. <laughs> but, yeah, so... But the gold is there, and as I said, for every one kilo of gold, you should get six six grams of. Um, for every one kilo of fingers, you'll get six grams of gold. So, and there's your six grams of gold. Um, and so, it's not it's not bad, you know. Uh, uh, if you get this sort of stuff for free, then hey, as, why not? That's another thing. another thing is. Uh, um, is for Pentium 2 and Pentium 3 slot CPUs, same deal. You can take your gold fingers, which are very high quality gold fingers, because there it's a CPU. It has to be spot on. Uh, it's the main part of the machine, and so. But the same deal. You can break off the fingers. You could save the fingers and then process the rest of the board um, another time and process your uh, your CPU. Take out, you know, take off your CPU, uh, MLCCs, whatever else is on it. Process that separate. But uh, for now, 
you know all i do is just take off the fingers i put it in my golf finger pile because i don't want to be doing all this one day when i decide i want to refine it i want to have all this all ready and doing it in little little bits at a time so it doesn't feel like a real big job um but yeah and there but the most of the value in uh in in, in most cases will be on the actual board still once you've taken off the gold finger um there's still a lot more in some of these boards uh so so uh yeah so it's definitely not about the thing just about the fingers the fingers is just one thing it's the first thing you process because it's 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 the quickest and just about the easiest stuff you can process is gold fingers um and then you know once you become a bit of an expert on you know extracting the gold from these fingers you know you can move on to uh processing maybe your ic chips and uh and uh oh you know obviously you still got your gold pins that's another video i'll talk about them a bit and uh but yeah that's it don't really have much else to say um i hope you uh um it inspires you to uh you know if you can get free pcs free computers something you can just pick them off the street sometimes in in rubbish um hard rubbish time when everyone's throwing out um you know you, you can pick up computers and you know server stuff this kind of stuff you won't find in a hard rubbish pile very rarely you will this is more like um you know getting e-waste from offices and stuff like that uh, larger companies that deal that have servers but uh but generally none you know just about none of this is from servers this is all from regular slot cards and your regular ram and and that's it there's there's no no real uh high-end stuff this this these fingers anyone can get uh any scrapper can just you know accumulate the same kind of deal anyway that's all i wanted to say uh um with gold fingers uh, keep scrapping and um, have fun guys